Hi, and uh, welcome back. We're now going to actually uh, begin to delve into the actual lesson plan itself. Hopefully you've had the opportunity to review the overview and uh, review the syllabus so that you'll have a better idea of how this lesson plan was constructed. And this lesson plan was constructed in five steps. So I have constructed this to be a, a week-long lesson plan. So the first thing that I need to do is to add users, and you can see that I already have quite a few users in here, but it's really simple to add a user. I simply select the plus button, and these are all valid Google Wave users, and that's the one thing to always keep in mind is that you are required to have a valid Google account uh, for Wave before you can get access to this but you also control who has access to any particular wave. So now I'm going to maximize this particular window so that we can see more of the retail space. And you'll see something else down here at the bottom called Aunt Rosie. Aunt Rosie is also added as one of the uh, members and one of the contacts. And that's how Aunt Rosie is, is added as an application. It's one of the several ways that applications are added into this uh, tool, which is a little bit different, but it, this gets into the whole widgetization of uh, using tools. And the beauty is that any time that I need to use the Aunt Rosie application, and what the Aunt Rosie application does is it this does real-time translation uh, for me via chat. Um, is all I have to do is simply add her as a, as a member and I instantly have access to that application. Now the first thing we're going to do is look at step one. Step one in, instructs the students to evaluate and read the poem paying uh, special attention to the hyperlinks. And one of the first things that you should notice is that this is a Google Doc. Now the Google Doc is actually stored within a uh, Google application cloud environment. So this document was embedded and is pulling from a uh, external Google document that is not part of Google Wave. So what the student will do is they will review the actual poem that I've listed in here and they will hopefully pay special attention to the particular words and in this case you can see when I've moused over weary I've included additional context for weary, such as exhausted or tired. So for a foreign language learner, uh, this helps to give them uh, additional uh, references as to the context of the meaning. Now they can also click on this and a new tab will open and this will give them uh, additional reference to, to a deeper meaning so they can explore even further in, into the actual context of the word. So the first stage of this document was to simply have the students go through and read the poem. So in the next step, step two, we'll take a look at, at how the students are going to then practice with, uh, with this poem.